Hi, my name is Christian Crank with Trainase, and today I'm going to be doing a demo using a interpreter script, specifically the netcat.rb script. Uh, like many other interpreter scripts, netcat.rb will automate an otherwise tedious process for us. Netcat.rb automates installing netcat as well as editing all of the proper register keys to create your back door. So we're going to start by downloading the script from my Dropbox. Um, Zero Cold made this script and his server is down so I did the decency of uploading it to my Dropbox. Uh, you can pause the video and copy the URL if you're trying to follow along. So once it's downloaded I'm going to check that it's there and you're also going to want a netcat.exe, an nc.exe, an actual netcat executable. Once you have both of those, you're going to want to move the netcat script to your interpreter scripts directory. So it's going to be opt metasploit msf3 scripts interpreter and then just netcat.rb. And then you're also going to want to move your netcat.exe, so move netcat.exe to opt meterpreter, or metasploit, my bad, metasploit, msf3, and then just going to go to data, and then netcat.exe. So once those are moved, you're pretty much set up completely fine for the script. So now once everything is done, let's pop open another terminal. I'm using um, the MSF console here. So I'm going to exploit this box and see if we can get the script running. So I'm going to be exploiting the box with a Microsoft 08067 net API exploit for SMB and I'm going to be using a reverse TCP interpreter shell to connect back. So I'm just going to set the payload first to Windows or right, let's use exploit. Let's start off with the exploit. So exploit Windows SMB MS08 067 net API and then you're going to set payload to Windows interpreter reverse TCP. I'm going to do a show options. Obviously I can't spell payload. <laughs> now you're going to do a show options and then enter in everything we need. So I'm going to do an if config all over here. I'm going to do a set our host to the Windows XP box. I'm going to do a set L host as the backtrack box. And then we're just going to run exploit. So the compromise machine we're going to be attacking is this one right here. This is the Windows XP Service Pack 3 box. Now, once everything is exploited, we're just going to run the script. So we're just going to do a run netcat. And it gives you three options. Obviously, H is for the help menu. Um, the N option allows us to name the newly created registry tree. And the P option is pretty self-explanatory. It's going to be the port that we're going to have listening for netcat. So let's just do run netcat. I'm going to name it backdir. I'm going to make the port 1337. It's going to upload the netcat.exe to the Windows box. It's going to add a registry key for the backdoor and it's going to set the name and the port. So once that's done we should be able to just reboot the uh, Windows XP box and once it comes back up we should be able to just do a netcat 
on the Windows box under port 137. Okay. Now that the Windows box is almost done booting, we are almost ready to run our netcat command. Okay. So it looks like Windows is booted. Everything's good to go, and I should just be able to use the netcat command to actually connect to the box. Uh, it seems the actual network has went down, and that is the issue. So, once the network comes back up, which I'm hoping it will right now, I should be able to run a netcat command from the backtrack box I have here, and connect to the Windows box. So let's try this out. Still saying no root to host. Um, let's see why that's not working. It's going to disable it first for now. I'm going to go to my network connections. I'm going to re-enable it. And then I'm going to be running a netcat command. And from here, now that the network is open, it should connect me to the backwards. All right, there it goes. So if I do an IP config all, I am connected to the Windows box. Okay, um, thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to email me at ccrank at trainace.edu. That is C C R A N K at trainace.edu. Thank you.